Hey, what's up, Obi Tribe? We are out here backpacking in Southern Utah and enjoying a beautiful evening um, eating. And I just wanted to quickly go over my cook setup. And it's actually what we've agreed upon as an office as the best gear that we can offer to you guys. So this is our vetted gear. So I wanted to cover that. Maybe talks about some pros and cons with other systems out there and then why we specifically choose this. So this system right here is an alcohol stove setup, but it's also a titanium setup. Um, when we look for a pot, all we're looking, really looking for is something that can carry two cups worth of water in it. Um, Cause typically any rehydration type meals is only gonna require two cups or less of water. So that's the pot that I'm going for. Although there are some bigger sizes, I typically recommend this. This is the 550 milliliter pot. Right here is where I've got my actual alcohol stove. This is a siphon stove. Um, I particularly like this one just because it, it puts out a lot of heat compared to other alcohol stoves. Um, just helps cook things faster. And then I'm also using the Tokes windscreen. Now this one, I've actually modified just a little bit. This comes with four different sections, um, but I'm using three sections just to cut down on a little bit of weight. So all of those items, including this long handled spoon with the polished bowl, it's gonna come out under five ounces. So the reason that I'm a big fan of this is if we compare this to say something that's, that's very, very common stream, such as a jet boil, those are about 13, 14 ounces plus your spoon weight. So it's, it's a huge, significant weight savings, and it's also quite compact. Um, and so that's, that's one angle. There's also things like, there's, there's a lot of us within the office that'll still use a canister type, type stove. So we do offer um, a canister type stove as well, although there are some weight savings there. And you can actually refer back to our video where we compare alcohol stoves with gas canister stoves if you're, if you're interested in those. But there is around a seven day mark where, there, where we found that there's a good break even point um, where one makes more sense than the other. But for us, typically what we're using is these titanium style stoves. You can find a lot of systems out there that are gonna have multiple cups and multiple sets, and those are all just overkill. Um, really, you're, you're gonna boil down to just needing something about this size to cook 95 to 100% of everything that you're gonna be doing on the trail. Another big reason that I prefer to use an alcohol stove is the amount of fuel that I have to bring. So this is more than enough fuel for a couple of days um, worth of cooking. It's only gonna weigh a couple of ounces versus going with that gas canister stove, it's gonna weigh a lot more. Again, if you refer back though to that gas versus alcohol stove system, we go on a lot of depth there. But for me, because I'm typically doing, you know, a couple nights at a time in my backpacking trips, um, it makes a lot more sense and there's some massive weight savings with that alcohol stove setup. So all the products we've shown you today are Tokes products and they're all things that are available on our website. If you are someone who's looking for more of a gas canister stove setup, we also have that available on our website. So you can go over there, play around with some weights and see what you can get to. But try not to overcomplicate your cook system. It's an extremely important part, but you can definitely get the weight down on these things. If you have questions or comments, make sure you comment below on this video or reach out to us at support at Outdoor Vitals. We're definitely here to help and try to simplify this back packing process for you.